What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to upgrade your Steam OLED to 70 hertz. You don't have to change the screen out, you don't have to do anything, this is a software only uh, hack that enables 70 hertz on your existing Steam Deck screen. Such a cool feature. Now before we get started, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed, and that's a pretty bad number. So if you like this one, be sure to click on that sub or thanks button below. All right, so now we're on the Steam Deck. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the right right hand menu here and on the right hand side if we go to the power or performance icon we can see that we have 60 hertz just like uh, you would expect uh, so how do we enable 70 just go to menu go to power and switch to desktop because we're going to need to use the console for this all right now we're going to open up our browser and head over to this page here this is uh, by ryan rudolph it is the Steam Deck Refresh Rate Unlocker. We're gonna scroll down here and it was recently updated to support uh, SteamOS 3.6.2, which was the uh, downside to this before because it actually stopped working for a good amount of time, but he was able to update that. So how do we actually run this? Uh, well, we go into our start menu and type in console with a K and let's have our console to the left and this window to the right. That way it's really easy to see. All right, so once we have the console open, we're just gonna start copying and pasting these codes. So I'm going to copy and then paste here. That's gonna change the directory. Then this, this next code is going to download the repository. You'll see it's receiving the objects there. Then we wanna change directory into the newly downloaded repository. So we're gonna paste that code and hit enter. And now you can see that it updated to include the whole directory there. Now we want to change the permissions on the install file so that we can actually run it. Um, and now that is ch modded. And now we're actually going to run the installer so we can paste this final one and hit enter. Now you'll see uh, Steam Deck LCD detected. Please enter password. So let's go ahead and enter the password there and hit enter. And this is warning, this is for educational purposes. It has been tested with the Steam Deck LCD and the original LCD panel. This may not work uh, with the Deck HD panel. Proceed at your own risk. Uh, the author takes no responsibility for any damage. Do you agree to continue? Uh, we'll click on yes. And now we can choose to install or uninstall. I'm gonna install here and press OK. And it says 70 hertz mod successfully installed. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's go ahead and click on return to gaming mode. Now we wanna actually try uh, the Steam Deck disconnected from any kind of monitor or anything like that. So it's running on the screen itself. So you can see it here. And we can see on that right hand side, we now have a frame limit of 35 frames per second out of 70 hertz. We can go ahead and press the right button to go all the way to 70 hertz press A, and now we are running at a very clean 70 frames per second. Very, very cool functionality. I'm glad this was uh, even possible. You can overclock it higher to maybe 71 or 72, but anything past that and you're gonna get artifacts. So 70 is kind of like the perfect um, setup. And it means you can run it at 35 frames per second without any kind of tearing or things like that. So yeah, pretty cool feature. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. Peace. Unboxing kudos, we rock that pseudo Administrative elevator command We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view He keeps it fresh, always brings something new It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?